So, true or false, you are not a big Barbie super fan and you didn't even own one as a kid? Not that I remember. I have to double check that, but my sister definitely did and I wasn't allowed to touch them. And my cousin had, you know, a box of Barbies <laughs> and rough. we played with that. Yeah, she was not messing around. Are you guys cool around. now? Or? We, we got past that. Of, it's a sore Is this subject. like just a giant revenge? This is, this is <laughs> that's all this yours. movie is, is getting back at my sister. <laughs> getting back at the family? Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about Actually, the dance? You're not going to invite her to the premiere? Uh-uh, no way. <laughs> check. <laughs> Can we talk about the dancing in this? Can we please? The dancing? It's incredible. It's incredible. You're a dancer. You're a dancer too. From Babylon. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. You. Dude, can I tell you something? Can I tell you what it took me back to? It took me back to your MMC days. I, What's MMC? The Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. I wanted to oh. be on that show so bad. Imagine how I felt. Really? <laughs> 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 and in this, you were like one count away. I was like, is he going for the body roll? I wanted the body roll. You didn't give us the body roll. Oh, no. Just, uh... It was just, I, they, it couldn't handle full body roll. I couldn't handle it anymore. It's a PG rating, let's Yeah, movie. exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Keep it in mind. Is this a kids movie, or is it not a kids movie? It's, mm. for, I, this is such like a thing people say when they do press for a movie. They're like, it's for everyone. But it was literally crafted to be for everyone. Like this, Greta said from the beginning, like, this is a big party and everyone is invited. Um, so in that way, it really is for everyone. And the comedy plays on so many different, the whole movie plays on so many different levels. I mean, so much of it is so silly and absurd and ridiculous. And I think little kids in particular, and people who care about, mm -hmm. you know, design, things like that, are just gonna be blown away by Barbie Land because the craftsmanship is so incredible and it's all tangible and it's amazing. And then there's, you know, some pretty profound conversations happening at the same time. I wasn't time. expecting that. I know, I don't think anyone... It was kind of, deep. I wasn't expecting really? that. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to finish reading the Barbie script and be crying. And I was like, why am I crying? My God, this is about life. And the conversations we ended up having, I just didn't expect to talk about the meaning of life so mm -hmm. much when doing a Barbie movie. Yeah. So it, yeah, it plays on so many different levels. And there's comedy in there that I think, you know, are gonna go over the kids' heads and adults are gonna, you know, laugh a lot and there's things that there really is something for everyone like there's a lot of stuff in there that I think dudes are gonna be like that was for me I felt that one and yeah. there's things that mums are gonna be there's one part in particular that mm -hmm. I think mums in particular are gonna stand up out of mm -hmm. their seat and be mm -hmm. like yes mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ryan we gotta ask you how do you define Kennergy mm. mm. you know very little is known about Kennergy <laughs> and we don't have the funding to, for the research <laughs> We know that it's we know that it's real, you know. Yeah. It it in my case it came on like a like a, as a rash, mm. and then it turned into a tan, <laughs> and then suddenly you're shaving your legs and you're bleaching your hair and it's uh, you're wearing you know bespoke neon rollerblades. So I don't know, but hopefully if this film, the conversation starts, we can start sort of funding it and really finding out like yeah. where, 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 what is Kennergy? Yeah. Well, do you have an idea of what it is? Or? I mean, Kennergy seems to be dependent on Barbie G, right? Mm. You know, as you watch the movie, you know, I hear you helped with Kennergy because you left gifts mm. every day for him. Do you know, yeah. do you know why that was? Because when we were, you know, Ryan was out dream choice for this role. Greta wrote his name into the script. It was Ken Ryan Gosling. And really? It was Barbie Margot. Everyone in it was their names written next to Barbie, you know, Barbie Issa, mm -hmm. Ken Simu. But Ryan's name was like from the get-go. So we just couldn't see anyone else doing the role. And so of course when Greta and I are trying to, you know, get Ryan to sign on, they're like, come come do Barbie with us. We know you may have questions, but <laughs> but <laughs> It, you have to do this. And I said, I will give you a present every single day if you come do this movie. And I, I think that was the deal, yeah. Clincher. I, I think yeah. that's that's I think that's how I was like Puka shells? Yeah. What kind of gifts did you get? Puka shells, uh, beach related things, horse mats, horse books. Horse I stuff? mean this film was the was the, the great present, the first <laughs> present of, of a series of presents. And then I gave you a lot of silly And then my uh, yeah. What was the silliest? There's so many no, dumb things. I just things know that my trailer just felt like I was like, it was like a Tommy Bahama store after a while. It was just like weeding through. Sometimes I'd be wrapping this present and I'm like, I don't, I want this. I don't want it. Like, like you know those like needle things where you put your hand yeah. and it leaves an imprint? Like something like that. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get Ryan something else today because I want one of these. I love these things. <laughs> and then I realized after a while because I was like, what is he doing with all this junk I'm giving? Not junk, but like, you know, it's not really needed. Um, 
and then I realized it was definitely going to his daughters. Yeah. So then I was, I had renewed purpose with the gift giving. I was like, oh great, so what are they gonna like? <laughs> so they... then there were some more stickers and like, you know. Mm -hmm. Are they Barbie Oh, fans? I kept the stickers. <laughs> do, you have, do the girls have Barbies at home? They do, yeah. They do? Yeah. What did they and there's say? a few cans tossed around. <laughs> did they get to see you in your can costume? What did they say? What did they say? They are very supportive. I think they were a little confused. <laughs> First as to why you would want to play Ken, and what role does he work, fit into this movie, because, uh, in, you know. Um, but they were so supportive, and there's one part, you've seen the movie, at the end of the movie, it's like something I had to like um, practice a lot to do, and they were sort of, they knew it better than I did by the time I was ready to do it, because I had been working on it at home. So they came to set, and they were behind the camera, and they were kind of like my, my coaches. I love it. You all have such a great vibe on screen. We're gonna get another gift from you two with this Oceans prequel. Maybe. What's so special about this partnership? I... Margot's like the real Danny Ocean. She's just like <laughs> putting these heists, like films together. And... <laughs> I just. You'll be in on one soon. Drag <laughs> you into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's already begun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, where, Can yeah. you crack a seat? Um, I just really like. I like. I love working with Ryan, and even before working with Ryan, I thought, I, I think we're gonna work and, cause some actors you're like, I love you as an actor, but maybe your methods of working don't, you know, get the best out of each other. I mean, I think that's pretty rare, but like, I feel like when I work with a really great actor that I really love, um, that I do better because of them. And so I wanna, that's why I kinda go after actors that I think are the most brilliant ones working today. Cause it's selfish and I just want a better performance out of myself and I know they're gonna lift the bar and get that. So yeah. that's why I wanted to work with Ryan. Also, I found the other day in my special box a list of things to do before I died. And on that list, and I'm I'm actually not kidding, Meet Ryan Gosling was on that list. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay if you cry. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> It wasn't even work. Cut. It wasn't even work with Ryan Gosling. Like I didn't even dream that big. I just wanted to meet Ryan. So when Gosling. you first met him. What'd what? you think? I, I forgot about I I didn't realize that I forgot I had that on my list. But um we'd met we'd met before and uh, I just always got good Kennedy vibes. Did I you? thought he's a good guy. Alright. This guy. is Barbie, guys. Okay, and as a Ken <laughs> I cannot stand for more conversation about Ken. <laughs> we must talk about Barbie now. <laughs>